hi welcome so in this video we are going to improve our shopping cart so this is our multi-seller e-commerce site if you add one item it will take you to cart suppose you want to add another item let's add two okay so if user wants to increase the quantity of this item to two he can increase like this and then he has to hit save then this whole page will reload and all the quantity will update all right so we might not need this total column so this is static so it is not updating so it will update price it will update subtotal total all right so what i'm going gonna do is uh, i want to make this such that it won't reload the page and whenever we update it will update automatically so that will be quite user friendly so in order to achieve that and enable you to learn new technology i'm using livewire for that so this is a good opportunity to integrate something on your existing project and learn something new okay so what livewire is uh, it uh, lets you make components like this one this one which interacts with a uh, backend and um, updates this automatically without writing JavaScript. All right. So traditional way, what we have to do is uh, we have to when someone updates this, we have to write Ajax request, send it to backend, uh, send response, and then update it here using JavaScript. So that was the uh, flow. But now with Livewire, what we can do is we can directly update this. By making components so we'll see that how we do that so first thing first so we need to install this this is the composer package composer require laravel liveware liveware so first we're gonna install that let's go to project open up terminal and paste in that command and wait for it to install all right so once that is installed we need to put these two tags so what these will do is this will import all library related styles and scripts so just writing this directive will include the styles so our layout file is inside let's open up sidebar collapse everything resources views layout so our front layout is responsible for loading our website currently so here i will use this tag so this will import all the styles similarly this tag to import the scripts so just go above your body tag where it ends just above body tag you can import this script Okay, so our live wire uh, package is installed. And now what we need to do is we need to create component. So it's like normal Laravel component, but with live wire, live wire that component is quite powerful. You can do many stuff. So we can use this command, PSP artisan. So PSP artisan, live wire. You can run this command, live wire make or make live wire both commands are available to you so if you hit PSP artisan and enter it will list all the command available to you you can see all livewire related commands so PSP artisan livewire make and then uh, let's see mall cart let's uh, create this component okay component created so it created two class two files mall cart dot PSP inside HTTP livewire and blade file so normal laravel component related stuff would you like to yeah you can do yes so this will take you to github and say to like or star this repository so you can do that all right back to our code editor so this command created these two file let's go to let's see them inside app http liver so this is the component and this this component 
whenever you reference this it will load this blade file livewire mall cart so that will be inside your resources views livewire mall cart so currently nothing here let's call it new cart okay and now we need to load this component so this page is uh, loaded by cart controller so cart controller so cart controller index method is responsible for loading that packet package sorry page and let's go to cart index blade file so here we can see all our cart content so we will get rid of everything from here we can cut everything out from here okay just cut everything out from here and let's put everything on so we'll put everything here all that content inside our new component blade file whatever in blade file will be loaded as component so for now we can just comment everything out so that we need to do some stuff to make it work for now we can comment it out and let's go to cart index and here we need to import that component so the way you can import component uh, using live wire and then component name mall cart so you can use this split file name mall cart and close the tag all right so you can import like this you can see good documentation here rendering component you can write component in two ways like this if you are using laravel 7 or greater otherwise use this syntax all right so now we should see our new component data over here new card okay this one and now let's uh, uncomment this and so now if you try to reload it would throw error because all these uh, variables are not defined so it says cart items not defined okay so let's make that work okay so we have this variable cart items we need to make this uh, variable available here let's open up uh, mall cart and here let's define that variable okay right now it will be empty array just initialize it so now this variable will be available here <clears throat> okay so this variable need to have some data actually the cart session data so the way we do in here is we have this mount method so in mount method we can do all initialization steps so this cart items we can initialize this with our cart item data let's go to cart controller where we have initialized this data like this so we need to use this we can cut it out from here we don't need this index here or yeah leave this here we can just copy everything this line and put it inside mount method so that we can initialize that just cut it out all right so we initialize this cart items with this data so this is the actual data card data so if you try to reload it, it still throws error because uh, this live wire public property card item must be of type numeric string array null or boolean so it need to be of these types so this card session item this item will be of type some custom collection type which this package uses but what we can do is we can convert this to array like this okay so now this is array and we can easily pass it so what live wire does is it will just send this item as a response and it will pass it here so live wire does all ajax requests and getting response behind the scenes so we don't have to do that and we'll talk about it later first let's 
make this work so now cart items is now array all right so let's go to mall card blade because this is loading that card mail okay and here now that this cart items is array we cannot access like this before it was some custom collection class okay so let's replace this this with let's delete this and we can reference like this id okay so just replace everything wherever we have used this item id and similar thing for quantity similarly for name all right so we can get rid of this total thing we don't need this total all right so now it should work there we go so now this is uh, this is uh, live wire component so with live wire component we can do a couple of interesting things so we don't need to refresh page it will automatically send the ajax request and update the data so for that to work we need to first make another component for this form update right so that if someone updates this form and whenever it updates everything should be update on real time so for that here is the form for updating that quantity so now one uh, before proceeding i want to show one cool thing about la uh, this live wire so here inside here let's create an input and let's let it be text and let's create s3 this is text content all right so here what we can do is uh, do like this wire model so it's like view v model and here we can say let's see let's call any variable name like data data of text let's call this data of text okay so and here let's call that data of text all right so this variable is not available in this component so we need to define this comp uh, this variable in model card right so let's do that data of text this is okay so this is the content this is default one so the there is two way binding so whatever you put in here will be auto reflected there without writing Java, javascript right so what this is doing is whenever we update anything here it is sending ajax request and then uh, sending response back and this is upda updating this one all that thing is happening behind the scenes so exactly that thing we want with this quantity update so whenever we do update we want to dynamically send the update request and then dynamically update this price and all these total and subtotal all right so let's do that let's get rid of where is our form yeah so this is our quantity update form and yeah we, we can extract this thing on separate component so we can nest one component inside another component so that will be the uh, most cleaner way of doing that you can do that without creating another component but that will be a, a bit dirty in my opinion so what we'll do is we'll create another uh, component so the command to create component is psp artisan live wire make or make live wire and let's call this cart update form okay so our necessary files are created and what we'll do is we'll extract this thing this form into separate so let's live wire card update form there we go we have referenced that new update form here and currently if you reload you will see nothing here empty 
because there is nothing inside cart update form so this is the these two are file that we just created so inside this file there is nothing what we gonna do is we'll paste this thing here all right and yeah we don't need this form we don't need this submit button yeah, you can keep submit button if you want let's do both way so that it will be easier to learn for you okay so this is the form and we need to make this item available inside this component as well so since item is already available inside this loop what we can do is we can pass that item as a props item item equals to we can just pass like this item just like view component and since it is inside loop we need to pass in key as well it is good practice to pass key so key will be item id there we go so that's it we just need to pass this item from this parent component mall cart to cart update form child component okay so we pass this item and we need to cast this variable inside uh, cart update form so i can go from control p but some subscriber don't understand or it is too much for them to get it so here is inside this so someone asked me to just navigate uh, through all these three rather than typing control p and cart update form yeah it's okay okay so here so whatever we pass from here is available inside mount method mount method so as like this item okay so this is how uh, live wire works you can see go through documentation once to just get feel of it if you are not getting it totally so yeah nothing uh, not too much to learn it's the simple stuff and item and create a public item okay so this is like constructor for this component so if you are familiar with view it's like mount method and it will be initialized as long uh, as soon as this component is loaded and since we are passing this item as a props that props is getting cast here or uh, yeah and then we initialize this item variable with this data and all this item will be now available inside this form okay so now if you reload you should see everything yeah but now we need to make it uh, updatable so the way we do is inside input so we don't need this name now we don't need value yeah, i will keep value for your reference so wire model it's like v model and then we'll name it let's call it quantity okay wire model quantity and we can get rid of this value which is the item quantity value okay quantity and yeah we don't need action and method we can just get rid of all these or i will just comment it out for your reference and i will get rid of everything okay so now this wire model quantity we need to define this uh, let me open this both uh, file side by side yeah cart update form so this is the class and this class all the this class is initializing all variable and passing it to this file all right so now here we need to define public quantity and let's make it zero by default and whenever a component initialized we will make this quantity
calls to item quantity there we go now you'll see same thing so if we do not do this thing you will see zero in everything because that is the public property there yeah zero if you make this 333 you will see 333 everywhere so to make it populate the existing value we have to do like this this quantity equals to whatever item we are passing to this components quantity okay so now we are almost done and now what we need to do is whenever someone submits form we can do like this wire submit and prevent the default action whenever someone submits what we'll do is update card we'll call this method update card all right this method we need to define let's define that update card let's for now die dump updating card baby okay so whenever we hit submit button save button it will be triggered let's see that in action so whenever we hit save it will say updating card baby there we go so here we'll put actual logic for updating card so that logic we already defined inside card controller which we have we are doing we were doing using this route card update and passing passing that all right normal php way so everything inside this so this is the logic for updating card okay so this logic will copy from here we can remove this update method from here we don't need now and we can put that logic inside here and while updating card we'll need the row id row id will be the item id right so this item id okay so we are we have this item available here and we can reference the id of that item and this instead of this we can just directly call quantity okay or this quantity okay like so so because this quantity will be automatically updated whenever we type something here okay that will be on real time two way binding to this variable so this variable is two way binded to this input field and everything you type will be automatically updated so whenever i type four here whenever i make this three to four this quantity will be made four and this is available here and we are updating using this update method there we go okay so let's see this in action let's to refresh okay let's make this four three to four and hit save okay so nothing seems to happen but if i um so if you can see this network tab uh, let's make it two let's make it two so it sends immediately sends one request which will update the quantity all right sorry which will update this quantity variable only we are not at updating our card and this is one request and whenever we hit save it will send another request card update form and it will actually update the form okay so if you refresh the page this should be four and two right but we do, we don't have to refresh page we have to make such that we don't if we don't refresh page it should update automatically right so currently we can be assured that this updating logic is working because when we save it is update updated and we refresh it is updated everything is updated right so only step what we need to do is we whenever this update is complete we need to update other component so the way we do it is like this so mall cart is the parent component so inside this parent component we are referencing this child component so whenever update happens this child component should emit a event to the parent and then parent will know the 
everything is updated and this parent component will then refresh everything meaning refresh all data the data is card items data all right so let's do that let's go to cart update form class and whenever update happens we can do like this this emit and the name of event cart update it okay so we this is a, a live wire way of doing emitting event so this emit method is available in inside live wire because we are extending this live wire component from live wire class okay so now we are emitting event and then we need to catch this event or listen for this event so event is emitted now we need to listen this inside this parent so the way we listen event is uh, like so if you go inside events so firing event is like this from component from template and then we can listen like this you need to make this protected listeners class and then map the event and action okay so let's go here listeners you can get rid of this data of text okay so we need to make this listeners class and whenever something happens like cart updated so whenever cart updated we need to call this method on cart update so on cart update what need to be what needs to be happen we need to write like this here on cart update so on cart update what we'll do is we'll just refresh this cart items with new cart item so we just need this thing okay and uh, we'll refresh this here and everything will be automatically updated okay so you can do like this or short way you can do like this this mount you can just call this mount method and it will update everything yeah that is also possible okay so everything is in place let's see it in action okay so keep eye on this whenever this is three let's make it four and hit save nothing is reloaded everything updated without page refresh okay let's make it five update this thing will update there we go everything is updating there we go if we refresh page everything should persist there we go Alright, so this is a way of doing it using Livewire. So let's go to cart update form. Yeah, let's close this. So you can even get rid of this submit button and directly call update cart method here like wire change whenever something change just call update cart method. So this method we, which we are calling on submit, we can call directly on change as well. That way we don't have to keep the submit button. Just one thing. There we go. And now if we go here and we, we don't have submit button, just make this, let's make this 16 and hit enter. It will update on real time like this without page refresh. There we go. Even if you make one, enter like this. Make this two, update it. Make this three, there we go. Okay, so web mall, mall cart. Okay, so this is how we do it. So as a exercise, what you can do is you can extract or create another component like uh, cart remove component and then replace this thing with, with cart remove component and remove the cart on without page refresh. You can do that like as well. It is similar, same thing, just make new component, uh, write the logic there, destroy logic there and just emit the 
card update event listener is already in place nothing to do it will automatically refresh all data so same thing you can do for this coupon code as well just write the logic in your component class and it will be quite interactive without even writing any javascript okay all right so you can try all these things like remove component for coupon so if you can successfully do that it's fine or i will update the code you can see that on github all right so hope you find this video helpful and i will see you on another video bye